tell a story, mate. Broken. The machine's not broken anymore. We ascertained by a variety of part swappings and board swappings which component was causing the problem. Follow me last week. Fortunately, as all the machines are the same, they are able to determine and reduce this box here which is called power drive for the pulse. We had a fault that was affecting the drive of the sewing machine motor only. It was powering up the rest of the machine, not a problem. We had a spare drive from the 15 head machine, which was not powering up at all. We located a blown fuse. We thought, ah, Blown fuse, that'll be easy. We'll swap the fuse out, put a new fuse in, and the complete assembly popped the main breaker. So we knew that there was a fault in this machine. Now, this machine wasn't powering on at all, where the other machine was powering on but had a fault in one of the drives. So, we split the boards. So, we took the power supply side, the half, from the working machine that had a failed drive, the drive side off the board that had the broken power supply, put them back together, put them in, everything's happy again. So for the sake of exercise, we'll bolt this one back together again. But that's where it's worth keeping all your old bits. So this one now has bad power and bad drive. Does it need to come down, 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 that's it. Yep, that's one. That's two. So, who knows how much one of these is going to be? We'll we don't find need out one. tomorrow. I'll get them a ring. For the purpose of the exercise. All right. Figure out what the fee should be. Uh -huh. So, there you go. Absolutely brilliant, Sunshine. Blown away by how lucky we are. Now, the owner, the new owner, will be able to sign off on the machine. He saw it running a couple of days ago, running beautifully, which has been restored to that now. The day they came with a mechanic to check it all out, the, that machine stopped. It actually stopped because of a operator malfunction. The guy um, allowed some thread to get down and wrap around the main shaft, which caused the motor to stop. That probably instigated the problem, overloaded, overloaded the, the system and broke it. So anyway, moving right along. Machine's good. Machine's Drive's good. good. Drive's good. This one's Life's good. ready for the <laughs> ready for the tip. Might be able to use that aluminium case for something useful. So therein lies the story. And just to be sure that it wasn't a five minute exercise, we're just going to check the machine again. It's obviously sewing beautifully. You can hear it from there. No problem at all. Going through the trim. I call that a big success. Thank you, Mike. You've done well again. So the logic was that. We had power coming to the machine for the lights, which is this distribution panel. We didn't have power coming, sorry, we had power coming to the computer, and the fault that we had was 
stopping the drives of the main motor but not of the X and Y. So the other power supply we had just wouldn't power up at all and it was blowing fuses. And we saw that we had a blown fuse there as well. So there's quite a, a distinct separation between two sides of the power supply. One side being the main drive and then a distribution across into the other uh, motor drives. So I was fairly confident by what we were seeing that the faults were in different parts of the two drives. So that's where swapping them over gave the outcome we wanted. And they were segmented quite nicely in the guts. As you can see, there's a, there's a gap in the board just here. has a bit of a memory in it so we're trying to duplicate where it used to run. So there's a strain relief here which is pretty important. The box does get moved around by the staff when they're cleaning. Don't want any of that strain handed off into the internal wiring. Yes. This is all the actual power supplies off those controls. So you've got your XUI, your sewing machine motor, and then the little DC motors, which are your thread trim, your color change, and there's one other, probably the catcher. And we've got our encoders. This is what feeds back information to the computer about where everything is. Coincidentally, the main encoder was the one that was in the wrong spot when we first got this machine.
from the other one. No, it's, oh, the three, ah, oh, yes. From the other one. From the old 15 header. So wiring diagram on the lid. Yeah, here you get stuck as to where to plug things in. It's all there. Not that that would ever happen. Except for the previous owner. So can you pick it on again? Yep, just for a second. What's your fingers? You clear? Clear. It's a happy sound. It takes a little while to stand up. But that's all right. It wants to play now. You'll we'll be able to tell the new owner tomorrow. Bingo, job's ready. Sign off on this machine. <laughs> Microsoft Windows for work groups. Version 3.1, how ancient is that? But it's rock solid. So there we go. Here endeth the lesson. Thanks, Marcus. Again. Check some